Python and AI are a match made in heaven. In fact, Google searches for Python AI have quadrupled in the past year. And I don't think they're about robotic snakes. That's why I'm excited to announce that Python support in Cloud Functions for Firebase is generally available. That means you're no longer constricted to a single language for your functions. You can easily deploy and scale a serverless backend for your app in Python or Node. You can more easily build AI-powered features with tools like Vertex AI, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. You can quickly adapt Python's huge ecosystem of tutorials and notebooks into your cloud functions. And you get all the benefits of second-gen functions, including improved performance, more powerful instances, longer request processing time, and custom events through EventArc. To celebrate the news, I want to build an app that uses a Python cloud function and generates poems from images. But before writing any code, I want to test the idea. Fortunately, with the Generative AI Studio, I can play around with several of Google's models for language, vision, and speech. In this case, I'm combining two models, Imagine Captioning and Palm 2 for text. First, I'll upload an image to Imagine to get a caption or description of the image. Then, ask Palm to write a poem about the caption. And voila, that worked out pretty well. Now, with the idea validated, let's get started. Here is the starter app that I'll plug the cloud function into. It has a React front end and some Firebase services already set up. To see how it works behind the scenes, let's open up the Firebase console. When an image is uploaded in the app, two things happen. The image is saved in a cloud storage bucket, and a document is created in Firestore with a user ID, path to the image, and empty caption and poem fields. Since the poem field is empty, the app is showing a skeleton where the poem would be. To complete the app, my cloud function must update the caption and poem fields with AI-generated content. That means it's time to open the app code in my favorite IDE, IDX. First, I'll initialize the cloud function in the console and select Python for the language, of course. This creates all the necessary files in a functions folder, including a Python virtual environment, requirements file, and main.py. Then I'll activate the virtual environment, install Vertex AI, and save all of the packages to the requirements.txt, so it's easy to reinstall them later. Now, with everything set up, I can open the main.py and get to code. Whew, time sure slithers by when you're writing in Python. <laughs> Let's break the code down. First, I imported the necessary Firebase and Vertex AI modules and initialize the Firebase app and Vertex AI. Then, I renamed the function and changed the decorator to trigger the cloud function when a document is created in the poems collection. When triggered, the event parameter will have a snapshot of the document data. I also saved a few descriptive variables for the document reference, image path, and storage bucket to make the code more readable later. The function logic from there can be broken down into three simple steps. One, Download the image from the storage bucket as bytes, then use those bytes to create a vertex image instance. Two, instantiate the caption generation model using the Imagine Captioning Identifier. Generate the caption by passing in the vertex image and update the document's caption field. Three, instantiate the text generation model using the Palm2 for text identifier. I told the model to generate a poem based on the image caption, and finally, updated the poem field in the document. That's it. That's the cloud function, doing a lot with just a little code. To see the changes live, I'll deploy the app and... Woo! The app is live! So, let me show you some poetry. Today I'm in the mood for a cute poem. And what's cuter than a puppy playing fetch? When that's finished uploading, it'll take just a couple seconds to finish running the cloud function, Oh. 
an adorable poem to match an adorable picture. And since it's deployed on Firebase hosting, I can send a link to any of my friends so that they can create their own poems too. If you want to try deploying the app yourself or customize it to your liking, all of the source code for this app is available on GitHub. Change up the UI, modify the prompt, or try out different models, whatever inspires you to explore. If you want to be more advanced, you could also try adding support for video to poem or hardening the app against inappropriate images. So to bring everything together, Python support and cloud functions for Firebase is now generally available. If you love Python or you want access to an incredible ecosystem of packages for AI and data processing, you should definitely try it out. If you want to build awesome AI-powered features for your app, then Vertex AI has you covered with over 100 models in their model garden. As you saw today, the Vertex AI Python library makes them really easy to use. You can also try out the Generative AI Studio to test foundational AI models when you combine the performance and scalability of second-gen Firebase Cloud Functions, Python's rich ecosystem, and Google's AI offerings, the only limit is your creativity. To get started with Python and Cloud Functions for Firebase today, check out the Getting Started Guide, and I'll see you next time.